What's up guys, Collector here. Let's do an unboxing. Today's unboxing is going to be the all new EMG Lancer Systems L5 AWM 190 round mid cap AEG magazines. So we'll go ahead and start with the manufacturing package. Uh, so we have the Lancer Advanced Weapons and Components uh, L5 AWM uh, Airsoft magazines. You have Lancer 190 round. Uh, mid cap five piece set so it is made in Taiwan so on the side of the package here we just have EMG and then the Lancer logo um, on the top EMG made in Taiwan same thing on uh, the right side is on the left nothing on the bottom and then on the back okay so let's go ahead and open up the package so each magazine is individually wrapped in its own plastic. Now for the Lancer System L5 AWM mid cap magazines, they do come in different colors. The color I went with was black smoke. Um, there is blue, clear, dark earth, aqua, pink, and red. Now, if you're wondering why I have two different sets here is the first set that I picked up, I had a lot of compatibility issues with all of my rifles. There wasn't one rifle that actually they were even compatible with. Uh, now, I figured out a trick to, to making them compatible. So I'll get to that later into the video, so stick around and watch. And it convinced me to get another set. So now I have 10 of these magazines. Now with these Lancer magazines, I, w I was using PTSs. It just, you know, it just felt like it wasn't enough. It felt like there was just a little bit extra that I could use in each game that I play. Um, so that's why I bumped it up the extra 40. But for feeding, like it is, it is very good, the spring inside. For high speed feeding also, it is, it is great. They are awesome magazines. Now, if you need to gain access to do any kind of maintenance, or if you do have a jam, um, you just go ahead and remove the one screw right here. And then, and you gain access just like that. And you have the outer shell, and then these just sit in place like that. And what's nice, um, if you wanted to add a little customization and add some, you know, some effect to, uh, you know, black wash or anything like that. Um, so there's the other one, um, and then there is the inside. So putting it back together, it'll kind of, it'll kind of just click into place. There we go. Drop it in like that. And move on to the compatibility issue. There is nothing worse than purchasing a brand new magazine uh, or magazines and then finding out they're not even compatible. And then when you do your research, and you find out they should be compatible and then they're not. Um, so this is something that I would like to share with you guys that I have resolved an issue 
that a lot of people probably have when they purchase brand new AEG magazines. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of GTA action. So you're gonna see a gun pop up every time I'm trying to see what is compatible and what is not. So like I said, I've modified these ones here on my left and then these ones are the brand new ones that I just unboxed. So starting here, this is the Umarex VFC HK416A5. So here's the new magazine. You can see, not compatible. Not working. Now it should go in. There it is. See, works. Yep. There you go. So here I have the EMG Cybergun Colt licensed Daniel Defense rail here. Not compatible. Compatible. Nice and easy. So here I have an FN SCAR OEM by VFC. Nothing. Not compatible. Compatible. Any of them, just good. And then the VFC SIGSAR MCX Virtus. Uh, there we go. Not compatible. Compatible. Uh, this one. No problem. Yep. Okay, so these ones on the right here, these are the new ones. Now, do you see that little bridge right there? Right there. That's what's stopping it because when it's going up into your hop up, it is getting caught right there. Now what to do is take a Dremel and this now like disclaimer, this, this might not work for everything. It's just in my experience so far, now that I've done this little modification, um, it, it has worked. All of my magazines now are compatible. No feeding issues. You do get a, like a feed, feeding issue sometimes. Like that's just, it just happens, right? Um, so now that's what I did. I took a Dremel and I just lightly sanded it and flattened it down. Um, and that's why PTS magazines work so well and are so universal and compatible is because that little bridge part. So I just Dremeled and I just sanded it and flattened it down a little bit. Hopefully that can help you guys with a compatibility issue with magazines because I've, I've read so many comments online where people are commenting, you know, like why, why am my magazines not compatible? Well, that, that is probably one of the biggest reasons what it is. So thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a little bit different doing a magazine video. Um, I really appreciate the support on the channel. Like, subscribe, and until next time, guys.